Among the illustrious RISD alumni, there are actors, film directors, writers, right, like fiction writers, and a race car driver. And yes, yes, there is a prince. The actual son of the King of Sweden went to RISD. This variety, and unexpected variety maybe, reinforces the idea that this school is where you learn how to think and imagine. It's not necessarily where you learn a craft that you will step into for the rest of your life. There are, for example, a number of actors on the list of alumni. <laughs> Unless things have changed radically since I was here, I doubt that there's a lot of acting classes at RISD. So, although you might have a degree in photography, that may not be what you end up doing. And that's, that's okay. Hopefully, you'll be able to think in ways that will be applicable in whatever you do. That's the idea. There aren't many musical composition classes at RISD either, not that I recall. However, I can attest that some of my musical decision-making was inspired by my directives that I learned in art school. For better or worse, my way of thinking changed during my time here. Okay, and here are some of the takeaways. Some of these are corny, some of them are kind of dubious, but these were some of the ideas that guided me. One, be true to your medium. If you're a painter, but your best idea is expressed as a podcast, do it as a podcast. Number two, leave the past behind. Abandon received ideas. There are loads of people trying to be the next so-and-so. Don't fall for that. In the beginning, that might result in you doing very little, but that little will be like nothing else and like nobody else. Like someone else said, make it new. Number three, creativity is work. You have to put in the hours. Yeah, it's a job. We've all heard about inspiration and perspiration. And yeah, that cliche is mostly true. Number four, I learned as much from my fellow students as I did from the teachers. Whoops, that doesn't mean your time was wasted here and you should have just hang, hung out at the bar. But uh, what I'm not talking about technique, but I met folks, uh, students, fellow students from other worlds, and I learned from them. Sometimes I learned not to do what they did. My first roommate ended up in rehab. Number five, the world isn't fair. There is discrimination and some people get lucky breaks. Some folks whose work is not that good will, you will see, be very successful. Just because it's successful though, doesn't mean it's the best. Correlation does not mean causation. So keep that in mind sometimes when that happens. Uh, okay, number six, there are surprises and there is beauty in the everyday, in the vernacular. I learned that the uh, officially anointed work and the artists are only one way of looking at things. And those get revised fairly often. So trust what you love. Number seven, there isn't an obvious practical application for everything. This might seem obvious to art school graduates, but in the real world, investigation and curiosity are often undervalued, which is kind of sad. Number eight, this is the last one, never be boring. That doesn't mean be shocking just to shock, but be aware that our time as an audience and as viewers of your work, our time is valuable too. So that's the list. I guess it could have been longer, but that's a pretty good listicle. Okay, could you have saved yourself a lot of time and money and not gone to school and just read this list? I don't think so. <laughs> Those ideas became apparent to me. I internalized them gradually after a lot of processing, fermentation, and the passage of time. Having that time, I realized, was part of what school was for. I'm grateful for the time. I wish you all the best. I hope to see you somewhere, on the sidewalk, on the street, who knows, soon. All the best and congratulations.